just when I thought I was done having issues for the season, it looks like we might have another problem. Hang out with me for a bit this week and you'll see what I'm talking about. So, things have been going more or less okay all season with the exception of uh, my big jungle honeybee passing away not too long ago. Otherwise, things have been kind of smooth sailing. Kribos aren't going to produce, but um, you know, we're still plugging away and I'm expecting a couple more clutches. Well, one of the animals I was expecting a clutch from, she's the one giving me problems. It's not anything she's doing, but the other day I did notice a pretty large swelling near her vent and two days later, i.e. this morning, it looks considerably larger. She, I believe to be, I believe she's gravid. She's small and hiding it well, but I've been showing some folks a lot of the signs and photos. And so assuming she's gravid, with the uh, advice of my local exotics vet, we are just going to wait and see what happens and see if she can pass these potential eggs and then deal with this mass later. But I wanted to show you a look at her and show you exactly what I'm talking about because it's grown in the last 24 hours more than I, you know, had hoped and I can actually see it. So a little concerning. So this is what we're dealing with. It's reality. All right. So she's really lean and it's kind of hard to tell, but you follow her body line go all the way here and right there. Pretty hefty lump. And I do not believe it to be an egg. I don't know what it is. It feels feels kind of squishy. I, I really don't know. Has me a little bit concerned. You can see it on camera there. She's behaving relatively normal. Again, I'm not even 100% sure she's gravid, but she is small and young, so she could be hiding it well. Regardless, this is an issue, so just gonna keep an eye on her day to day and see what happens and keep the vet posted as things go along. So obviously it goes without saying, like, yeah, I would love to get her to produce a clutch this year, but her health is more important. Um, so to me, I, I am more hopeful that we just have a good outcome, whatever it may be, that results in her uh, coming out of this healthy with whatever that is. Uh, I'm hopeful we can figure this out in the next few days. Hopefully it doesn't grow anymore. If she does have a clutch, hopefully it comes out normally. So I will be taking you guys along with me as we figure this out. Uh, if there are developments day to day, you'll see it. So yeah, good times, right? Real good. At the very least, I am still expecting a clutch in the next week or so from my zebra jungle female. The bridles are still cuddly and courting and uh, doing what I think they're supposed to. And got some gecko eggs waiting. I did find another uh, crocodile gecko egg in there. They're so small, I don't know if it's fertile, so I put it in there anyway. But a couple crested gecko eggs due to hatch. So, at least there's a silver lining. Um, but yeah, that's what's going on around here this week. Again, as I've said many, many times, you take the good with the bad when you're, you're breeding and sometimes the bad just creeps up on you. So, um, fortunately I have two local exotics vets in my area, so we got a couple options, so we'll see what happens, but fingers crossed for a good outcome. All right, eight days later, she's definitely not gravid. I don't know why I ever doubt myself. When in doubt, she's probably not gravid. I should remember that every year, but anyway, she's not gravid, um, which means we don't have any complications related to that uh, as far as treatment goes. The good news is it hasn't really grown much more since I initially found that swelling and it feels a little more soft and uh, pliable a bit now so I'm wondering if it's just uh, some sort of an infection that can be treated with antibiotics or something. Hopefully no need for extreme surgery um, but essentially gonna make the appointment get her in in uh, a week or two and start addressing that issue. Um, so I guess 
you know, it's not as bad as it could be, I suppose. So that's a good thing. Uh, still waiting on that zebra to lay. She's pretzeling up. For anybody who's breeding carpet pythons for the first time, one of the biggest signs to tell when your female is about to lay is when they pretzel up or do these crazy unnatural positions and twist up in an uncomfortable way. So um, that's going on. Should have what that clutch, potentially a super zebra clutch, and who knows what the brettles are doing because I can't speak brettles, but plugging right along. So yeah, this is sort of like that lull moment after eggs have been laid, things aren't quite ready to hatch. Did find another crocodile gecko egg, and uh, yeah, just kinda plugging away. But that's the reality of snake keeping. It's not always exciting, it's not always fun and flashy. A lot of things are in shed, unfortunately, right now. And yeah, it's just kinda this weird downtime. So, is what it is. So I don't want to leave this video just all doom and gloom and showing you a sick snake with a swelling and just me rambling and talking. I wanted to show you kind of uh, one of the cool things that I get to enjoy during this slow time of year when I'm just sort of cleaning and feeding and doing some of the maintenance work. A lot of the animals that I produced last year, the few that I picked up, are shedding and growing and progressing and changing and just really showing off in a nice way. One of those particular animals is this beautiful jungle produced by Martin Roseman of Martin Armorelia. And this is an insane jungle carpet. This is what we call a Trophy jungle, just an A, a grade, A plus animal from Martin's uh, pairing of Lady Gaga and Hondo. Two stunning examples of jungles themselves. Pretty wicked. Awesome snake. She just shed out this morning. Every time that happens, I get very excited. It's like having a first look at a brand new snake all over again, so. Never gets old. And these are those moments where you sort of get to pause and take a step back and enjoy your animals and remember why you do this and enjoy the hobby in between all of the work. Kind of refresh, you know, why you do it why you love it, especially when you've got an animal that has a potential medical emergency. It can be very overwhelming, so don't ever get uh, too bogged down. Take a moment to acknowledge your yourself and that you're doing okay and take care of your animal as well. Things happen out of your out of our control. so. But yeah, beautiful jungle. Anyway, that's all I've got for you guys this week. Got a lot of stuff going on, trying to stay regular with filming, putting stuff out as usual. Don't forget to become a member of US Arc if you haven't thus far. Although I'm sure many of my viewers are US Arc members, but if you share this around, those of you who are new watching, I'll make sure there's a link in every uh, in the description for everything below. You can become a US Arc member. You can also get yourself some awesome 3D printed perches and and much more. If you reach out to Chris Sexton at HeliGuySerpents.com or HeliGuySerpents on Instagram get discounts on his 3d printed stuff if you join my patreon as well so look me up Riley Jimson we do a lot of good stuff we're growing in there doing a lot of uh, monthly zoom meetings everybody gets first access to babies once they're produced this season and a whole lot more so uh, thank you to all my patrons thank you to everyone who's watching thanks for everybody who's been following me over the years and uh, wish that snake some good luck and uh, hopefully next week there will be some, some better news to bring you all here. But this is the reality of keeping animals. Um, 
the few of you who stuck through and stick with me and my videos appreciate the uh, the authenticity and the the genuine content of just what it means to keep uh, these reptiles at home so no sensationalism no none of that and uh, just 100% real what's going on right here so thanks for staying with me I'll bring back uh, another video next week cheers